Mr. What can I do for you? Um, well, it's a little embarrassing. Um, uh, could I see the mail assistant, please? Well, I'm afraid there's no mail assistant. You'll have to ask me. Well, perhaps I'll come back later when the mail assistant's here. No, you don't understand. There's no mail assistant. You'll have to ask me for what you want. Ah, well, then, um, I'll have a packet of razor blades, please. No. <laughs> Why not? Because you don't really want razor blades, do you? Well, in a sense, I'll... I'll Look, sort of... Let me put it like this. If there was a male assistant, you wouldn't be buying razor blades, would you? Well, no, but that's just hypercritical because... Uh... Look, why don't you just ask for what you want and I'll give it to you? This is a chemist shop. We're both adults. Now, I work here. I'm familiar with the stock. And when you mention what it is that you want, I'm not going to faint or scream sex maniac at you, am I? Go on, just say it. What is it you want? Um... I'd like some, um... Go on, let it out, you can do it. This is very embarrassing. No, it isn't. I'm not embarrassed. Go well, on. Well, I want some, um... Yes? A packet of... Yes? Uh, ...corn plasters. No, you don't. I do. You don't? That's not what you want. Well, it is. No, it is not. You wanted corn plasters? Why did you want to see a male assistant? Well, it's embarrassing. What, corn plasters? No. Ask, that's not what you want. Well, yes, but, um, among, among other things... I'm... Other embarrassing things? Why are you picking on me? I'm not picking. I just want you to say what you mean. You come in here asking to see a male assistant burbling on about razor blades and corn plasters when you know what you want and I know what you want. Why don't you just say what you want? I'll get it, you'll pay for it, and it'll all be over. I can't. It's not right. You're a woman and, and that, and I, I can't say these things to a woman. I wasn't brought up like that. I know nowadays everybody does everything ev to everybody all over the place, but I can never take the risk of embarrassing a woman, especially a beautiful woman like what you are. I'm sorry. No, it's me that's sorry. I do apologise. I shouldn't have been so harsh with you. It's just that I have a problem communicating with people. Do you really think I'm beautiful? Oh, yes, I think you're very uh, attractive. Actually. I think you're very wonderful. <laughs> you're just saying that. No. I've got standards, and I like that in a man. You wouldn't care to come out and have dinner, would you? Well, I was just going to close up. Oh, good. Because there's this nice little place I know we could go and eat, and then we could go back to my place. It sounds lovely. And don't worry, I've got the corn plasters. <laughs>